it's lovely to meet new people and that's what we're about to do Nancy Ruth here has been introduced to us by Miguel Corchon, who organises the Blues at Moonlight Festival every year. And I'm very excited to know more about you, Nancy. Welcome to Marbella now. Thank you very much. Exciting to be in Marbella. Where are you from? I mean, your beautiful blonde girl curls, Goldilocks, personified. <laughs> you're very identified. Very at home. <laughs> Where well, are you from? We understand Nancy? each other. We do. The already, same problems, so. the same benefits. <laughs> same here product, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm originally from Canada, but I've been living in, uh, actually, I've been away touring for most of my life on the road. You know, I'm a musician, um, and, but I've been based in Spain on the other side of Malaga, in the Rincón del Victoria, for the past 15 years, between tours. And yeah. what kind of music is your genre? The genre, I actually have a name for it, Sangria Jam. I that's the name. I thought it was the name of your. It is, of your, but, but I that's, mean, that's I what mean, you it's, are, it's Sangria like, Jam. Uh, my the music that I write because I write all my own music and uh, lyrics, and so it's really drawing on all of my influences from jazz. I have a jazz background, um, pop, rock, and uh, I'm a huge flamenco lover of flamenco and Latin music as well. I've traveled a lot in in Latin America, so I have all of these really strong influences and have passed through all of these styles. And so when I sit down and write, it's just what comes out. And it's, it's a real authentic, kind of natural mix of all of those elements. When yeah. did you realize that you had this gift? <laughs> I don't know. I've always sung. I think I could sing before I could uh, speak. Yeah. And, and my first uh, uh, love of music came from the soundtrack of Man of La Mancha, El Hombre de La Mancha. No? So I had this fascination. Uh, for Spain from the time I was very young. And do you write in Spanish, in English? I used to write a lot in Spanish, but now because most of my uh, public or my audience is English speaking, I'm writing more lyrics in English now. But it's, so. a, it's a nice combination of having flamenco jazz. I mean, just in itself, you know, this combination that I suppose is really a combination representation of all the people you are inside, all those experiences. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I do have Spanish roots as well. Oddly enough, I know I no, no pinto nada española. <laughs> I don't look Spanish at all, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, harmonically and rhythmically, there's so much uh, intercambio, there's so much uh, common language between jazz and flamenco that I, I certainly never force the marriage, you know, but it just comes out that way, yeah. And do you record? Do you perform live? Do you do gigs? What's I make my living performing live. That is my, my career. So I'm traveling all around the world. Just came back from Australia, New Zealand, just still getting over the jet lag. And, um, well, and that's, so we're going to do something So you're doing finally. really well then. I mean, if you're traveling around the world to go and perform, yeah. I mean, you're it's there. All, it's all well, I've ever done, actually. Yeah, but I mean, it's, yeah, I'm still, I'm still doing and it. And do you have a manager? <laughs> someone who like books all your gigs no, for you? No, I need a manager. I don't have time for everything. Hashtag yeah. better together over here. We need a hashtag better together. Yeah. Find this girl a manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm you don't need to do bad on your own. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't have a life. Uh, it's uh, My social life is like all about my band and uh, doing the business. But yeah, it, it gets hard doing all the business. I do work with booking agents and publicists and different, you know, people on my team to, to help out. And then obviously Miguel yeah. introducing you today yeah. to us. Miguel Corchon, go get them guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Exactly. But it's it's nice yeah. because if you meet people with talent, what nicer than to introduce them to other people who can, do you know what I mean, share the experience, pass the word on. I mean, that's what yeah. it has to be about if we're going to survive. It's no, supporting we're all helping each, each other. other. Exactly. We all work together. So do yeah. you come down to Marbella often? I'm still trying to get my driver's license in Spain. It's like the hardest thing ever because uh, my Canadian driver's license is in, in good. So I have no car. So, But my, my wonderful uh, sidekick, Juan, is good enough to drive me. Juan Soto is the producer of this, uh, this disc and he's got a, a great studio in Malaga called Studio 555. And uh, so, you know, we travel. Tell us together. a bit about this uh, this record. I call it a record. Yeah, yeah. well, it's uh, all the songs, uh, as I said, were written here in, in Spain over the years. And um, when I came to, uh, I, I met Juan Soto and Juan Heredia, who's the percussionist for uh, Chambao. And uh, Juan used to be the dir musical director for uh, Manzanita. So they, they have a long history here. Verde que te quiero verde, that Manzanita. Sí, eso, eso, I mean, like really sí, big sí, Spanish sí, sí, names. Sí, sí. Yeah, so I hooked up with these guys and uh, started looking at my music with their um, sort of uh, language of understanding how to play my music. And so we started re recording together and it started to just click and happen. And then we just realized all of a sudden we had an album. So all the musicians are are uh, Spanish. I mean, it's for, dawning on me the yeah. names you're talking about, <laughs> the, yeah. how impressed that they must be 
with this blonde flamenco hitana <laughs> um, style. I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's a big compliment to your ability, obviously. Yeah, I well, I feel that. Yeah, um, I mean, I do live here as a Spaniard. Well, if you too, didn't you know, know that, so, yeah. you know it now because these yeah, are really they would have kicked me out. By exactly, yeah, yeah, these yeah, are really yeah. important yeah. big name musicians, very talented people. It works well. Yeah, the tracks well. that are on the we haven't had a chance yet to hear it. A lot of us. But are they um, sad songs in the same way when you feel that people always say that inspiration comes through pain and suffering? Yeah. Are we going to suffer and flamenco's typically high? Yeah. You know, like, God, tell me, <laughs> There's definitely a lot of passion and drama in the music, but it's very rhythmic. It's very upbeat. Most of it's very upbeat. People are usually surprised how rhythmic and upbeat and fun the music actually is because um, I'm kind of an intense person and uh, but uh, I have a lot of fun on stage so the music is actually very entertaining and a lot of fun to play live. Well, yeah. I can't wait to hear you yeah, in fact let's take you. a little look right now at <laughs> some you. of Nancy's work. Nancy lovely to meet you Great and I know you. that we'll be seeing you again soon. Ole, muchas gracias. Ole for thank me you. too. <laughs> <Ole>. <laughs>